it, it, it's unbelievable how far these little caverns go. Let's go ahead and ignite this. Wow. Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Kriya. No time for BS. As you can see, some interesting things have happened. We ended up going way, way down into this cave. Um, kind of... I didn't actually mean to do this. Basically, what happened was I started falling, and I didn't stop falling. And I ended up, like, way down here. But I gotta tell you something. These caves are, like, super expansive. I don't even remember where I came from. I think it was up this way. But the point is, is that there is a ton of orange stuff down here. And I've got some pretty neat abilities um, that I have unlocked. And let me show you one of them here. One of them is called Ore Hunter. Let me go ahead and utilize it real quick. If you do not have this ability, you need to get it because it is amazing. There was a there was a time where there was like copper ore all around me and holy cow, I would have never seen it if it wasn't for this ability. Now, I also have fashioned a bone bow along with some arrows and I've got a couple of additional magic abilities down here. I'm going to try archery for a little bit. I haven't ever messed with it really, so I'm curious exactly how it works. Like I had said, at least one person seemed to believe that it was pretty good. So I'm willing to give that a shot. And I also have a Pioneer Matok, which is way better than our previous Matok, and a whole bunch of bronze armor. As you'll notice down here, I've also happened upon what looks like someone's home. So we're going to go ahead and burrow down here and grab, get some of this wooden block out of the way. Now we've got a bookcase of the Aetheus, found benediction of the Aetheus. Hail Aetheus, the companion, firstborn of the air. He of all living things understands the thoughts and songs of Cree. It was he who helped shape the world, who planted the great forest of Corsaltus, who brought the other air and Abio into being. Aetheus, may we never grow far from Cree. All right, so... We have a new thing there. We also seem to have another page here. Dear Ambassador, I pray that you are well in these troubling times since our armies were set out for Corsalis. Rumor has started to come back that our warriors are beset by strange and unknown monstrosities. These are surely the creations of the air sent to fight in their stead. We tremble to hear their strange cries at night and the native birds and small creatures have fled while other animals have become hostile. The people are senseless with fear, but who can they pray to for protection now that they are torn down? Now that they have torn down the temples. Oh, jeez. Dear Ambassador, I'm glad to hear that you have safely arrived, my dear cousin. May the air smile upon King Al Alatrobertus the 21st. Man, I have I have problem with names to begin with, and these guys are throwing names like this at me for his wisdom in bringing you here. He is a good king, powerful, and very loving toward his daughter and his people. Although I wish he made more of an effort to visit the temple, although your duties will surely keep you busy at the palace, I wish that you may someday be able to visit me at the great temple so that I can show you its brilliant dome of stars. Perhaps at the next Kingdom Festival we shall meet again. Again, welcome to your new home. May Gildor guard your heart and threshold. Gildor the Mighty guarding our hearts and thresholds. Very good. Something else over here. Oh, it's a research desk. Well, we already have one of those, so we don't really need one. But if we ever needed one, there you go. Oh, a lantern. Can we, like, pick it up? Oh, we can pick it up. We just have to beat the crap out of it, and then, what do you know, it becomes ours. Man, what else is down here? What is this? Is it just like a little... Oh, it's a little platform. All right. Well, yeah, let's beat this down. I don't want that getting in the way. Oh, there's a chest down here, guys. Finish up these. There we go. A little bit more gathering. Yeah, we'll grab another lantern. Why not? And antlers! Sure, we'll grab some antlers, another research desk, and another torch. Uh, we can always use more torches. Now, I think that we should go ahead and grab all this wood, because we don't really have any wood blocks, I don't believe. And we can probably learn some new things if we go ahead and grab all this wood. You can see, with this new Matok, man, we can bust through stuff quick. What is in this chest? It is locked. It requires a silver key. Well, crap. So, I don't want to knock it all the way down. And we can't grab it that way. So, all right. It looks like there's something beneath this. So, let's go ahead and dig down here real fast. Ah, I think I know what it is. Hold on. Let us cast our... Oh, wow. Look at all this ore. Holy crap, guys. There is ore everywhere. 
And let me tell you, when you see this stuff, you definitely want to grab it because one thing I learned about crafting in this game is like you have to do it. What I mean by that is to craft like better stuff, you have to craft the stuff beforehand because you need to get that crafting experience. All right, I went ahead and cleaned out all of the immediate ore that was around here. See what else is going on. Ooh, our gathering talent leveled up. I wonder if there's anything new that we can get, actually. One of the other things that I want here is once I get a little bit more exploration, I want to unlock this cartography. It increases our map vision by 10 meters. That would be fantastic. Let's take a look here at uh, gathering. That's what just went up. Health boost. Ooh. Well, yeah, I'll take a health boost. Absolutely. 10 extra health. That is... Quite lovely, actually. Um, is there anything else that we haven't done here? We went ahead and got our bow proficiency just in case we need it. Let's see. I have not gone anywhere into this area. Man, it blows my mind how deep these caves go. Oh, there is a guy down there. Oh, there's a little bit of water down here, too. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get up. Ooh, actually, now is a good time. Well, if I could see him. There it is. I cannot see where the hell I'm shooting with this thing. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we'll go ahead and just use our, our sword real quick. Because I know at least what I'm where I'm attacking with that. There we go. We finished that slime up with no big issues. Um, oh, I think we have a little piece of copper right here. Yeah, if we come across it, I'll go ahead and grab it. I believe these stalactites are stone. Man, how far down does this go? I don't want to, like, fall too far. Oh! And that is why, oh god, there is bad dudes everywhere. I can't even see right now. There we are. Okay. So, there's a whole bunch of slimes down here. They're not too strong, so I'm not, like, super worried about it. I can't see though. That is the only issue. There we go. There's another one getting those oil clots while we're here. Was those snails in there or something? Snails. All right. What do you do with a snail? I wonder. Uh, grab a snail shell, maybe. Oh, it's carapace. Okay. Um, let us use our ore finding abilities real fast to see if there's anything around here. Oh, there sure is. That looks like I don't know if that's iron ore or what, but let's go ahead and see if we can grab it. Oh yeah, here we go. We definitely want to get that iron ore if we can find it. That should be the next step after copper. And anywhere I can find it, I will be more than happy to grab it. Alright, I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of the copper. Not all of it, but quite a bit. There is still so much down here. Man, I can't believe how far down this thing goes. I mean, it's it's insane. Um, Can I hit that? Yeah, oh, I can. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab that real fast. Uh, let's see what other kind of ore we got going on here. A little bit more copper down there, more copper down there. A little bit of iron over here. Man, we are going super, super deep into this into this underground area. Like I said, though, I do want to at least get this iron here. Because iron can be pretty difficult to find. You go ahead and grab all this. Now, it looks like there's a treasure chest or something over here. Um, let's go ahead and heal up real fast, just so that we're full... Full capacity. Oh, I thought that was water. That's actually not. Oh, there's a couple of vials down here. What's inside of these vials? What the hell is that? Some sort of underground pig? What is that? Oh, it's a torrent. Let's go ahead and take him out real fast. And that looks like a torrent generator. So we're going to want to take this down. There we go. And there's at least one more that's kind of flitting and floating around. Let's go and get up here so we can actually... Ah, yeah, you can breathe a little fire on me. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Anything that happened after we took that out? No. Ooh, our, our uh, torch gets doused when we, go under, when we go in the water like that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take out this. <laughs> they all went flying off. <laughs> uh, they're all gone. Um, man, you you can easily get lost down here. It, it It's unbelievable how far these little caverns go. Let's go ahead and ignite this. Wow. Look at all this. Look at all this ore if you go far down enough. 
Um, man, some of that ore doesn't even look normal. It looks like... Is that snow or ice? I don't know, guys. Let me go grab some of this iron real fast. We are getting tons of supplies, though. And I think our gathering talent is like shooting up we should be able to level it up pretty soon i guess if not we're gonna have a ton of training points for it keep moving on keep moving downward i guess man i don't know i don't know where this place ends um what is this over here oh wow is this is this all is this all iron or is this snow oh it's sand i don't think i've ever really picked up any sand we might actually have to look to see if there's anything new that we can we can kind of uh, open up. Man, I'll bet this is all copper right here, isn't it? Holy cow. Oh, wow. We can actually break right through this wall. Man, the amount of, the amount of space and stuff that you can see in this game. Yeah, let's go ahead and bust through this wall and keep going, right? I mean, that's pretty neat. Not really sure where we're going to end up at, but we've been underground for a while. I can't believe that the the underground is as expansive or maybe more expansive than above ground. Let's go ahead and use our ore seeker real quick. Yep, there is ore straight up everywhere. And it looks like there's some iron ore over here. What is this? Mossy roots. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and grab some roots. Oh, it gives us wood. You could probably play this game like totally underground if you wanted to. Like I said, the only issue is just there's really not the the visibility is kind of crap. That's the only thing. But let me grab all this iron ore. Now that we've got all that, let's continue. Um, wow, there's actually a couple more guys over here. Looks like there's some slimes. Go ahead and bust through here. And we may have to take that slime out. I can't even see. Oh, here we go. There he is. Come here, buddy. Where are you going? Don't you run from me. It almost seems like at their level, they don't even want to touch us anymore. Kind of interesting. Oh, man. Oh, this is... Look at this. This is a big open area. Let's see what the ore thing has to tell us. Man. Man, there is ore everywhere. All right, well, how, what happens if we go down even further? Oh, is that a chest? A locked wooden box. Oh, we opened it. Cool. What's inside? Ooh. All right. Yeah, let's loot everything. All right. Nice. Awesome. We got some uh, some new little items. We got some more air. It, uh, they say that that's currency. I haven't really found out where you're supposed to spend it yet is the only thing. There we go. Man, this, this ledge climbing stuff is like the most useful thing ever. Um, all right, we can't go any further over there. I guess we'll continue this way because I don't think we've gone this way yet. Oh, that looks like a dead end as well. Um, all right, well, you know what? Let's start heading toward the surface. I mean, if we can. I don't even know if I can get up there. How do I want to do this? I'm going to have to build... Let me think for a second. I'm going to have to build a little bit of an area to kind of jump up. There we go. And if we build a little something like this, a little staircase upward... There we go. Come out to a little platform like this. There we are. Oh, yeah. There we go. That worked out pretty good. Came down here. and Man, we got a ton of ore, though. How much further can I get? Um, hmm. Now, that looked to be... All right. So, let's go ahead and build more dirt. There we go. We have to kind of build upward like this if I want to be able to get enough distance to jump onto that next, that next ledge. I upgraded our jumping ability too, and that was well, well worth it. So if you ever get the opportunity, definitely do that. Man. Um, let's go ahead and use our ore finder real quick. It may ignite some areas and allow us to see. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and burrow through this side, and maybe we will be able to find a way out of this, <laughs> this giant mine. Okay. I actually managed to dig all the way to the other side of this little area here. So we're going to bust through here in just a second. 
and we'll go ahead and take out this slime. And I'm pretty sure there was a Torin down here. Yep, there sure is. There we go. Nice block on our on our part there. Starting to get a hang of how the uh, the uh, combat in this thing works. There we go. And oh, we have an oil slime down here too. That's fine though. Level two oil slimes are nothing for us to be scared of at this point. What is this? That's snow or sand? Sand. Okay. Good to know. Um, I can't quite jump up there. Oh, let me see if I can reach. Oh, yes. Nice. Made it. Um, oh, there's still more guys. Come here, slime. There we go. Finish him off. Oh, we're getting attacked by someone. Oh, there's another slime. Oh, there's another slime or is it just the first slime? I don't know. All right, let's continue to move upward. Um, this looks like something I would have made. That little ledge right there. Ooh, ah! <laughs> ah, we fell. Okay. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Oh, not in the water, not in the water with the slimes. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and heal on up and use this regen ability as well. How can I... Oh, there we go. We'll make a little dirt pile here so we can actually get up. There we go. That should do it. There we go. Um, yeah, that worked out perfect. Okay, good. Continuing to move onward. Hmm. Might have to make another little dirt pile here so that we can build high enough to reach the next platform. I gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever been to this part of the underground yet. This underground is way expansive. Oh, there is a bunch of more copper. Man, there's so much copper around here. Oh, is that a chest? It looks like a chest, guys. Um, I think that's what that is. Oh no, it's just floating dirt. For a second there, I thought it was a chest. Oh well. More dirt this way. And a little bit of dirt like this. The cool part is, is that once we build these, we'll be able to use them every time, you know what I mean? Um, okay, we'll build some more dirt this way. I know, I'm not the most creative guy when it comes to building upward, but it is working, right? <sighs> okay, get up here. Get up here. There we are. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll build a little bridge here. That should be able to get us all the way over here. Nice. Oh, man, how much farther does this place go? And... Uh, can I even get to that? Um, yeah, I should be able to. We're always gonna need more dirt, though. I'll tell you what. The more dirt, the better. <laughs> oh, man, that doesn't go anywhere. Um, okay. Let's... Let's dig through here. We'll kind of make our own path. That's how you trailblaze. Oh, yeah. That's what we are. The bunch of trailblazers is us. Continuing upward. Man, there's stuff everywhere. Grab all these vines, because why not? You could always use more vines, right? Star date. It's been a long time since I've seen the sun. Uh, let's go ahead and ignite. Maybe this will show us some areas around here. Hmm. Nothing. All right. Well, we'll keep going this way then. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll dig straight up. That's what we'll do. Um, how are we going to jump up here? There we go. Excellent. That worked out pretty well. We are getting upward slowly but surely. Go ahead and swap on overs to make my dirt mounds, which I'm becoming pro at. I don't know if I would call it a pro, but uh, I'm becoming better at it. There we are. Oh, actually, I think there was a chest over here. Yes. Oh. Is this a chest we've already been through? Oh, man, I hope not. And what is this? A locked wooden box. Oh, we haven't been in there yet. Silk. Tonic. We haven't seen any of those. All right, guys. We are really starting to find some cool stuff now. Oh. Oh, I think we found it. Yes. We found the exit. Or we found a exit. Nice! I don't even know where we are on the map. Let's break all these. Might be some cool stuff inside. 
We are, I guess, in the forest biome? We got a marshmallow seed there. All right. One thing I want to do is level out this ground. And the reason why is because we can go ahead and throw down our research table. And let's take a look if there's anything new we can research. Right here, we are able to research something in silk. So let's do that. Got some different outfits. And a couple of home pieces as well. Research this. Research this platform. And yeah, we'll research this marshmallow seed. Not really sure what the hell a marshmallow seed is going to... Oh, Loramite bed. Okay. Sure. So, let me see here. Go ahead and pick this up go to our talents real quick and let's see if there's anything new and exciting we can get we haven't really done that much combat to be quite honest when we were down there but man we did a lot of gathering precision 10 percent chance of destroying a block in a single swing man why wouldn't you want that tool proficiency use the tool you have equipped to dug and chop shift for back wall f to change the area size oh i didn't know about that Hold on a second. Let's go ahead and grab that. Get more reach. NPC prices. Man, I haven't even found an NPC yet. We can also get power, speed. Man, we can unlock all these. Look at all this. Let's unlock the reach for right now. Okay, so... Oh, look at how much area we can get if we wanted to. Man, I didn't even know about this. Look at that. Look at that area size. Hold on. Oh, man, if only I would have known. We can clear out a huge amount of area with this. <laughs> Shut up, you little speep. Get out of the way. Take this zebra tree out. You're in my way, speep. There we go. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do real fast is put down our little smelter. I made this forge as one of the items that we were able to make. And it allows us to create ingots. So you can go over here to filter. And then you can type in like ING. And that'll show you all the different ingots that you can make. Like right now, man, we can make a ton of iron ones. And we are going to go ahead and do that. See that right there? The craft talent leveled up just from that alone. Uh, yeah, we're going to make all these as well. Got a bunch of crafting points just for doing that. And now that we've made ingots and got our crafting level up. I imagine we'll be able to craft some new items. Let's go back over to our research desk. There we go. And interact. Yeah, there you go. See? Look at this. Uh, yeah, I'll use an iron ingot to go ahead and research that. We got plenty of lumber, so no, no problem using one piece there. Tons of new weapons. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Finally, we'll be able to get some iron weapons. Iron spear, a hunting bow. That looks sweet. Iron arrows, broadswords, maybe some better leather. Another broadsword. This is cool, guys. We're going to have a ton of new weapons and armor and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and unlock all of these. We did some really neat stuff so far down here in Korea. Hope you guys enjoyed the underground biome. That's probably one of my favorites. Normally, I hate underground, but in this game, it is sweet. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.